2008 Dodge 4.7. We're going to go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the cooling system flushed and drained, we'll disconnect the negative battery cable before beginning the repair. To ease in the removal of the water pump, remove the coolant recovery tank and washer fluid tank. Before starting your repair, you always want to be sure you're working with a cool engine. Using the appropriate tools, remove the fan clutch. Remove and inspect the drive belt, making sure it's not damaged in any way that would hinder its reuse. Remove the idler pulley. When removing the eight water pump retaining bolts, note the location of the three longer bolts. As you remove the water pump, there may be some residual coolant. Be sure and capture this and dispose of properly. Install the water pump sealing O-ring. The use of a gasket sealer is not needed on this application. Clean the gasket surface area on the block and install the pump into location. Reinstall the water pump retaining bolts, tightening in a crisscross pattern to 47 foot pounds. Reinstall the idler pulley and reroute the drive belt into location. Inspect the fan clutch, making sure there's no oil leakage or loose bearing. Reinstall the clutch fan onto the water pump. Reinstall the coolant reservoir tank. And refill the system using a 50-50 blend of antifreeze and distilled water. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Because the thermostat is in the lower radiator hose on this particular engine, it's a good idea to not only fill the radiator, but also take the upper radiator hose off and fill it, and then reattach. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. Start the vehicle with the cabin heater on high. This will help purge the air out of the system. With the vehicle at operating temperature, inspect the cooling system for leaks. Turn the vehicle off and allow the engine to cool. Top off the cooling system as needed. 